last time we did the interview, you kind of spoke about being a robber a lot. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got your name Swiper. You know, I, I think I seen you mention in another interview where you stole a couple of bricks from some guys and they were looking for you. Oh, uh, yeah. I, had, um, I, I ain't steal it from them. I had um, actually, I bumped into it. I bumped into it. It was about like coincidence, man. It was a guy, he was, he was parking his car. And I was riding down the street, and actually I was about to go in the house. I was like, man, if I don't see nobody, man, next five minutes, man, I'm gone in the crib, man. And I rolled past, man, and this guy was getting out with a diaper bag, a diaper bag and a, and a jewels bag in his hand. And I just parked the pool of the car over, hopped out, stick up. And he went, hey, look, he gave me the jewels bag and everything else, but he wouldn't give up this diaper bag. So I, I, I was wondering, like, why? Like, like up the diaper bag, bro, woo, woo. He was like, man. So when he finally gave it up and I told him to run, and I looked in, I'm like, damn. I'm putting on the scale and it was, she had 2,000, over 2,000 some grams a row. Man, okay. Well, well, and what'd you do with it? Did You just got rid of it real quick? Man, I, I, I didn't, I wasn't no hustler, Cam. So a motherfucker come for me from out of town to be like, yeah, I'm an eight ball. I probably gave them ounce. You hear me? For eight ball money, bro. Like, like for real, man. I was just getting that shit away, man. Damn. Was that your biggest come up? Yeah, that was my that was my biggest come up. Like, I didn't hit for 75, 50, 75,000, 50,000. But, yeah, that was my biggest come up. Because now that I know what I know, like, the worth of that shit, and it was raw, oh, man, I'm supposed to be rich right now, man. Yeah, that's a lot, man. Well, what would you think was, like, your worst situation from from – you know, stealing something from somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because I know motherfuckers going to be mad at you. Oh, man. Hey, hey, you ain't lying, bro. So we in a car. I'm in a car one day. And I'm I'm in a car with my homie sister. And we on we on Halsted, man. And a nigga who I took 50000 from, bro, he get the dumping at the car. Hey, look, I tell I tell my homie sister, fly in the police station. Let me out. I'll run right up in that motherfucker. Oh, there. I run right up in the police station. He got the on on that thing. Soon we turned in that, he got the on, but I hopped out and ran just in case because I know people will hop out and finish the job no matter where you at. So that was the scariest shit though, man. Sixth District. We was right there by Sixth District, 79th and Houston. On that thing, he got the fan and us in traffic. Do 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 We ting ting ting. You know, I told her to bail in the police station. Hell yeah. <laughs> What'd you say when you went in the police station? Oh, they was like, anything, what, anything wrong, sir? I say, man, mistaken identity, man. Somebody talking about their wife or something shooting and, and like some shit like that. But they was already, they was already, the cars already, like some people was already running out the back side of the garage and shit. Like they done heard the shooting and shit. But hell yeah, that was the okay. scariest moment, bro. My had turned to the police station and you know how people say, the cops and all that shit. Hey, you be under that pressure. You be like, where they at? <laughs> For real. Where they at? Shit. Man, now this happens. Do you start to think about like, man, maybe I shouldn't be stealing anymore. Maybe I shouldn't be robbing dudes. Hell yeah. I I, I did. I thought about it a lot. And, you know, I had a couple more licks. I started just, I, start, I just started like hitting licks. I know people ain't gonna come back. These niggas they got a lot of money, they ain't coming back. So I started hitting them, and then I just eventually went to jail and came out like I ain't robbing nobody else. So so you stopped after jail? Jail, jail kind of? Oh, yeah. Once once I went to jail for them four years, Cam, I ain't did nothing, man. I ain't did nothing, bro. Like, nothing. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.